Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. My name is Omid Kazervan, and I'm so happy that you're here because it's all about you. It's all about giving you value content, things that you can take into your life and really start seeing results that you wanna create in your life. Your boy coming at you with another life tip, something that you can add into your life, and I also wanna share it through a story of how your boy sold 64 cars in one month. Now, for those of you that know, I used to sell cars, and the only reason why I went to go sell cars was because I had this goal, this to get my dream job, which I'm doing right now. And uh, it was a long process, but one of the first things I had to do was go get sales experience. Now, when I went to go sell cars, I was 18 years old and I knew jack crap about cars and I knew nothing about sales. All I knew was that, oh fuck, I wanted to do this with my life. I didn't know how I was gonna do it, but I knew I wanted to do this and I knew I needed to be good at it. So I went to go sell cars. My family has a lot of history when it comes to car dealerships and, and the whole car, car world. So when I went to go get my job, it was easier for me to find my job, but I remember, going to my going to my interview and I was really nerve wracking because I put everything on the line to get this job. I was moving to a different city, I knew nothing that was happening and I, I knew I needed this job to become, to get my dream job. So everything was was riding on this interview. So I was like closing my eyes, I was like manifesting, I was visualizing to get in the job. And I, and I, I remember I was driving an interview and I crushed the interview, you think, oh my God, yes. So I got the job and I was super excited, you know, did my drug test, did everything, passed it all and I got my job. And what I needed to understand was that everything in life is sales. Everything in life is sales. Everything you do is sales, everything you are is sales. You are always selling something and you're always getting a commission which is like the thing you're getting in return. Like in relationships, you're always selling yourself to your partner and then the commission you're getting is that love. Or when you're in sales, you're either selling yourself. A lot of you youngsters out there, you're selling yourself to your parents so that you can get what it is that you wanna get. But you're always selling something when it's either yourself or a product. So I had no idea what I was doing. Really, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. All I knew was that I had, I had a task, I was getting familiar with the system and the process of how it was done, but ultimately I understood that you know people were buying me in, the, in emotion. Sales is all about selling of emotions and transfers of emotion. I had two solid beliefs, and the first one I had was that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And I heard that when I was a kid, and I was like, oh, let me, let me use that while I sell, sell cars. And I did everything in that moment when I was with the client to let them know how much I cared for them and how everything I was doing was for that person. And when I did that, it really helped really convey emotion and like and, and, and love and, and people buy emotion. So I made that person feel so loved in that moment. You know, I remember there were times I used to sell cars and I would have people tip me in addition to what I was making because of how excellent my customer service was. The second belief I had was that selling was healing and I was not selling a car, I was selling a solution. And what happened is that when I understood that I was selling a solution, I was like, shit, I'm making a difference. I'm doing something to help someone's life. It's, you see how that little like belief change can make a world of a difference than, oh, I'm selling a car, to I'm changing this person's life. You know, it's, it's a lot better, it's a lot more juicy, it has more weight to it, and you're like, fuck, I wanna do this more. So I, I told myself I was healing people, I was helping people, this, I was making a difference, and it made me wanna take a lot more action. And I'm telling you, it was fucking hard. The action I was taking, I was working you know, 80 to 90 hours a week. I was honestly living at my dealership. I knew the people at my dealership, my coworkers, better than I knew my own significant other at the time. And it was because I was literally living at my dealership. And I, and I remember that there, there were so many times that I wanted to quit because it was so fucking hard and I was gaining weight. I was you know, sacrificing my relationship. I was doing everything I could to become super successful in this one area of my life that every other area was taking a hit. And I really wanted to quit it so many times, but it took me time to sit there and be like, why am I doing what I'm doing? You know, why am I, why am I busting my ass here? What is, the, what is the big picture? And every time I reconnect with the big picture as to why I'm doing what I'm doing, it gave me more juice and more fuel to go out and take more action and you know work those long hours and really fucking crush it. You know, and I remember there was a guy, he was, he was the top producer at the time, and uh, everybody gave this guy a lot of shit. Talked a lot of shit about him, the guy was, you know, gave him shit. That's you know, normally what happens when you're successful, but everybody gave him shit. And I was like, why is this guy consistently hitting the same number every single month? So I went to him and I said, bro, how the fuck are you doing this? And he shared with me a story, he shared me, with me why he's doing what he's doing, and just having a little conversation with him and I, hearing his mindset, not how he did it, but why he was doing what he was doing, allowed me to reevaluate my mindset and why I was doing what I was doing. And that really was, it was a game shifter for me. But I remember there was one month where I really wasn't hitting my numbers and one of my managers pulled me aside and he's like, bro, you need to fucking hit your numbers or we're gonna have to let you go this, this month. And I said, like, oh shit. And it like lit like a little fire under my ass and I was like, I gotta, I gotta make a shift and I gotta really have a belief system shift right now and I have to really start producing my results. And it was like that moment of 
loss where I was like, okay, I'm gonna make it happen right now. Consistency and determination and doing it every single day and knowing why I was doing it and doing it over and over and over again and rinsing and repeating. You know, like your boy Mr. Miyagi says, wax on and then you go wax off just over and over and over again. And then it got to the point when I hit 64 cars. In addition to that, we also got paid for customer service reviews. So before I came in, everybody's getting around 10 reviews a month, and your boy came in, your boy crushed it with 84 reviews the first month. And I told everybody, I was like, listen, I'm gonna be the highest reviewed employee you guys have ever had. And every single month, I would up the standard of how many, of how much, every single month, I would up the standard of how much I was getting reviewed and how I was such a likable person. And it was the direct relation of being so likable and so loving to my production. You know, the moment I finished, selling cars and I went, you know, to go chase what I want to do in my life. I wrote this book on sales called Always Be Closing. And really, it's all about sales strategies and techniques, but through building relationships and communication and how to be a master of relationships. And that's what this book is right here. So if you want to get this book, the link is down in the description below. That is how I sold 64 cars in a month. If you want me to go into more depth, I have the audio version of this one as well, or you can just buy this book and read it. I literally broke everything down step by step. That's the video, my friends, of how I sold 64 cars in a month. You can apply this to anything you do in your life. If you enjoyed this video, if I added some value into your life, I put a smile on that face, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and I will be seeing you in the next video.